What's up guys, my name is Cole and welcome back. So today for you guys I have a little bit of a war recap, uh, lethal looters versus Kaloon, which we are looters and we are currently down by one star, it is 98 to 99 with two minutes to go. Now this was actually a defense with Dutt who is in our clan and I believe he defended in this one, let's go ahead and watch this really quick. So he's going to go ahead and draw these clan castle troops out and he's going to be attacking with hog riders. Like I said earlier, hog riders are not necessarily dead, so don't count them out by any means. But we'll have to see how this attack goes. So he's going to go ahead and draw out those clan troops, bring them to the side of the map, and essentially take them out. He drops his queen along to help out, and there goes the hogs. Now, Dutt still does have his queen and king. Uh, due to the update, they are going to stay in the center, which is really nice. So the king is going to be hacking away at those hogs, as well as the archer queen, which is really going to do work. Um, as long as they can stay at the center so far, it's looking pretty good for Dutt so far. Um, he's only at 40% and the raid seems like it's going to come to a close pretty soon. As you can see over there by those wizard towers, I don't know if you saw that you guys, but there was a double giant bomb and that is absolutely going to take out those hogs because post update hogs are not as strong and double giant bombs are really going to do a beating on them. Now as you look right here, he only has his king left as well as a few barbarians and a couple of archers and that is not going to be enough for him to finish this raid out so he's probably going to end it with a one star and actually Dutt was attacked earlier so he was going to need a 3 star in order to get any stars on us so I believe the score is still 99 to 98. Now we have about one attack left. Um, a few of our people were either on vacation or uh, not available to attack and so let's go ahead and check out who is attacking because I believe we had one left. It was a dragon laid uh, as you can see up here. Uh, we really needed those two stars to push us through and we actually going to be watching Will right now. Uh, yeah, he's going to be attacking with dragons. Not really sure why he chose the heal spells, but you know, not going to blame him. So he's already got 23% and quite a bit of his dragons up. Unfortunately, this guy does have a pretty maxed out base. And those Teslas as well as those Expos are absolutely tearing through these dragons, if you ask me. Um, both of his heroes are up, and now the clan castle comes out. That Archer Queen is really going to hurt them. He's only got about two or three dragons left. Not looking so good for you, Will, right now. He's at 32% and the Infernos have not been damaged at all. He throws down that last raid spell hoping to get a little bit closer to that town hall. But as you can see the Inferno as well as both those Expos are locked onto those level 3 dragons and are absolutely going to just decimate them. So I think we ended up, that was the last attack of the raid. We ended up with a 98 and I don't think we got any more points. There is currently 0 seconds left in the war and now it is over. So we ended up losing 101 to 98. A really, really intense war. One of the closest ones we've ever had. Um, I personally, I got, you guys saw my 1 star attack and then I went back and I got a 3 star with some hogs. But, I mean, we just couldn't pull it out. I just thought that was really close. Epic war. Wanted to show you guys. I so hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Uh, another episode of Level 1 Champion coming out after this. But you guys have a great day. And as always, people, keep on clashing.